Uh, Harry Lippman, it seems to me it would be especially valuable for the other lawyers who are co-defendants uh, like Rudolph Giuliani, because this this first trial on October 23rd is is from one of the lawyers, the lawyer who apparently originated the idea uh, that the choice of the next president of the United States is up to the vice president of the United States. Uh, and But if, if you're Giuliani and you're watching that prosecution, and if that jury comes back, uh, you know, quickly or, or otherwise, with a guilty verdict, uh, what does that do to other defendants thinking about the, the question, which they still will be two months from now, should I cooperate with the prosecution? Should I flip? Should I plead and flip and work with Fonnie Willis? It scares them to their soul. But it, it's certainly true that, remember, all 19 here are charged with this vast RICO enterprise. So that might be one thing in Chesbro's head. You know, you can't so isolate it just to me. You're going to have to put on much of your case. But, of course, if things come back, they've seen the sort of shock and awe, and then they'll, they'll be looking... It may be too late by then, but they'll be looking very, very much to sort of uh, cut a deal. So it it goes both ways. But, you know, generally, Chesbro, I think, as Joyce said, is, is kind of betting uh, that that Willis doesn't can't get it together so quickly. Willis had to make the response she did, I think. Uh, but but if, if push comes to shove, she'll do it. And even a trial just with Chesbro is going to be a pretty big, uh, sprawling uh, uh, proceeding.